All right, Shalom. I'm gonna read this real quick. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse. Six. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. bring it out the book of Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 6 for whom the Lord loveth he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth that's right so part of coming into this truth man you gotta understand what you're a part of man counting the cost and this truth you're gonna have you know ups and downs man you know if you don't get faint don't don't don't, don't get you know um um um, um soften the spirit you know get ready to, to endure man because we gotta endure to the end all right with that being said, I'm going to say Shalom. I'm going to bring that back. Call Halal. Yeah, yeah Hawa, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, or Kakwadash. It's given all praise to the Most High Name of the Only God, in the name of the Holy Spirit. We got a prophet in Babylon, captain down here in Tampa, Florida. We give double honors to the elders and apostles and head bishops of the Great Millstone, who teach bro who taught us that there's truth and truth and sincerity. All right, you see what's going on in the world? All right, hey, man, don't be, don't, 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 don't do not be deceived. All right, we still got a lot of hell to go through, man. Time. Okay, Catching that hell, take it cheerfully, man. The Lord should take these things cheerfully. All right, uh -huh. bring that back. Hey, Salaki, I'm like, hey, Shalom to all the brothers, by the way. You know, shalom, shalom. like the brother said, we are the prophets in Babylon here in Tampa, Florida. Right now, you know, we in Plant City. We out here, you know, um, doing a lesson. Salaki for the um, the wind. If you hear some wind, you know, we just out here flowing with the spirit. And most importantly, Lord willing, it's edifying to the hopeful elect, man. Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. to the to the brothers uh, and sisters across the four winds, you know, doing this work in truth and in sincerity, man. All right, hey, but hey, ask him how's the audio? Khan, uh, if uh, anybody can drop how the audio is, Baba Kwasha, that would be your pa. Baba Kwasha, drop, let me know how the audio is. So I thought we thought we'd go into a lesson concerning the chastening of the Lord, man. You know how, the, you know, don't think it's strange, brothers. We're going to catch hell. We're going to, you know, go through different trials and errors in this walk, man. You know, but uh, back to Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 6. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. That's right, and the scourge is talking about like, oh, like how you saw the Lord with the Lord getting whipped. Mm -hmm. That's a scourge, man, you know, and that's how we catch hell. You catch hell, I mean, the Lord love you, man. You know, hey, this right here is Satan's world. Right now, Satan is in power. He's ruling all over this earth, man. And what's going to happen is if you're doing good in this earth, you're catching no hell. It mean, it mean the Lord will love you, man. You and perfecting you and, and, and your spirit, spirit to what go through that fiery trial now, so that when that when the ultimate hell comes, you don't catch hell with the rest of this world, man. You know, so that's why we do catch hell, and that's showing the Lord who loves you because He's correcting you now rather than having to correct you later. All right. It says, if you endure chastening, mm -hmm. the Most High dealeth with you as with sons. So the Lord has told you that, he, he, being that He loves you, you're gonna be chastened. Now he said, you gotta endure that chastening, man. I mean, you can't get, you can't just, oh, you know what? Oh, I'll take, I'll get him. And Jake, do that, man. We see that. You, you don't been in this thing for a while. You don't see men coming this thing strong and then leave out because they catch a little hell, man. You know, for any reason, they, they, they'll, they'll leave in any season, man. You know, and that's the problem where our people, our people don't like to catch hell. You know, understand what you're part of and in captivity that we in, we, we, we gotta catch hell. We gotta we have to go through stuff. But in the end, we're gonna get the victory, man. You know, hey, our Lord, we have to suffer with our, with our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Hey, he, he catching hell, we catching hell, and we're going to get glorified when he gets his glory, man. All right? I got a, a preset real quick. Mm -hmm. Matthew 13, 20. But he that received the seed into stony places, the same as he that heareth the word, and anon with joy receive it. Mm -hmm. So you got Jake's that'll, you know, they'll hear the word, and they'll be happy for a season, you know, because when you first hear this truth, it's sweet, yep, yep, you know, yep. and you don't really understand the chastening of the Lord when you first wake up to this. Yeah, there's a difference called it being that honey, man. Yep. You know, that honey is smooth in your stomach at first when you first, because you hear you're an Israelite, you hear that God loves you, God, you know, chose you out of all nations. You hear you about to be, you about to be a king, you about to be a God, you hear you can get multiple women. You know, 
that that we will you know inherit the earth all these things you hear and it sound good but then it comes with what you got to do to get that man you know are you are you willing to put put your best foot forward to do what you got to do to to, to 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 get that reward you know and in that and in doing that you're gonna catch some hell man hey the you scriptures know? say what and he that shall endure unto the, the end the same, the same shall be saved. saved so you know the lord constantly went into the endurance man mm -hmm. and when you think about when you're working out even when you go to the gym endurance is a, a key part to you know growing that's right, that's right. you know in the in the gym you want to give up at the last you, you let's say you want to do 10 reps you at the ninth rep you want to give up no, you got you to gotta push forward, man. Right, you know, right, and we at right. the end of this. So this is where, you know, demons are amping up. It's not getting easier as the days go on. It's only getting harder. Right, so we right. must get stronger. Right. But it says, Matthew 13 and verse 20, But he that received the seed into stony places, the same as he that heareth the word, and anon with joy receive it, mm -hmm. yet hath he not root in himself. Mm, so you got to get that root in yourself, man. That's why you got to be first coming in truth. You got to get a foundation. Know what you're part of. Understand the basics, man. Jake come in and try to skyrocket, and before you know it, your ass crashing, man. Crashing. You know, you you, you don't want to crash anything because Griffin said you got to endure until the end. Mm -hmm. It's not about what you came in. It's about are you going to endure until the end to last, man. You, know, you got many men that came in and are not here to tell a day. But the Lord was to come tomorrow, you know, it, 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 them coming in was, 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 was all for, for a not, you know. And that's, that shows you the power of the Lord, man. The Lord can easily bring you into this thing and cast you off. So the Lord is telling us to endure the chastening. As you catch in this hell, as you're going through it, hey, endure it, man. The, the, the Lord is a man of war. You know, he, hey, hey, the Lord loves a fighter. You know, as you catch in hell, you're supposed to fight, man. You know, you got to get to the point where you got to, what, in a part of the heart, you got to learn to love to suffer, man. Learn to love to you suffer. Know, you know, it's like you're in a fight and you enjoying the fight. You know, you, you get hit, you, 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 you throw some hits, hey. you know. Hey, that, and that's how you scare the opponent, man. When you think about a boxing match, imagine you get a clean lick on somebody and what he returns with is a smile, man. You know, that shows power. That shows this man has integrity. That shows this man is ready to win the fight. Hey, and that shows that man is willing and ready to keep going. So your opponent who's already, you know, his last breath, he see you smile, he's like, oh, man, that, that, that's discouraging. Eventually fall out. And that's Esau. Esau going to fall out. You know, we understand that. It's pretty whole much more shine. Yep. All right. So it says, yet hath he not root in himself. Mm. So he's not rooted. You got guys that come into this thing and they don't really dive into the scripts, man. Yep, yep, yep. You know, they kind of just do it. They think it's a fad. It's cool to be a Hebrew Israelite now. You know, I kind of want to do it. Wow, oh my gosh, I'm God's chosen people. Or you see Jake, Jake that see other men doing it and they just want to cling on to those men. Shh. Like for example, with uh, IHBK, you had a man that called in to the Zaryak show and he said, I like what y'all doing, man. Anything y'all say, I'm, I'm going to do it. But he ain't really doing nothing to court scriptures himself. He, he just like here and not a doer. So when it comes to something like adultery, you know, he, he he all for it because they all for it, man. But he don't really have to understand it within himself. He's not grounded, he's not rooted. You see? All he all you thought you don't listen to what the next man is telling you instead of doing your research for yourself, you won't easily be misled. You're gonna be deceived. That's right. Toss to and fro with everyone in the doctrine. Lord willing, if you can grab that 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 that, that uh, next. Hath he not root in himself, but dureth for a while, meaning you endure for a while. For when tribulation or persecution ariseth, and we're talking about what? The chastening of the Lord. You know, the Lord will chasten you with certain things, including what? Tribulation, hard times, whatever it is. And hey, scripture says, what shall separate you from the love of your, of your house shine? Shall tribulation, shall persecution, shall all these things, what's going what's to separate you from the Lord and cause you to fall out of this pain? It, it, it happens, you know, a lot of men get, get separated, you know, and, that, and that's why we doing this lesson is to, to remind you and this is a part of this thing, man. The catching hell is a part of this thing. Don't come. Mm -hmm. It says, for when tribulation or persecution arises because of the word, mm. by and by he is offended. Mm. And Jake get offended, you know, after a, a, a while in this thing, you, know, and you, 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 know, you can't do this, you can't do that. You, you got to do this, you got to do that. They start getting offended, man. You know, and, and they didn't only get offended with the truth and the word. They get offended with the brothers, with the Lord. They start looking at the Lord crazy. Oh man, well, I gotta do no, no, no. Eventually they fall out, man. You know, so when you understand that the, the whole the the, 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 the the concept of this whole battle, you're gonna be able to you know me measure out all the things you need for to, to continue to finish the job. You gotta have all the proper tools, all the proper supplies to finish that house. You don't just start a house and, and, and leave it. Or oh, I go, I ain't have everything I needed. Now the house halfway finished and it's getting destroyed with, with, with the rain, the wind hit. You know, you gotta complete hey complete what you started man 
I remember why you started. I got that uh, Romans. Um, this is Romans 8. And verse. Who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach? Mm. Shall tribulation or distress? So tribulation means when you're catching hell, bad times, you know, when, when you're going through it, tribulation. Is that going to separate you from the Lord? Because they catch a little hell and they start, and they start getting weak, man. All of a sudden, they start doing less videos. They don't want to go out to, they don't want to go out to camp no, 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 no more. You know, they, they ain't saying, how about you? Know, they ain't calling, brother. They ain't, you know, they ain't doing nothing, man. And we see it. So, hey, is that, is that, is that what separates you from the Lord? Because, mm. hey, you know what the love of the Lord is? If you love me, keep my commandments. The Lord commands us to go out there and teach, man. All right? To, to feed his sheep, you know? So no matter what, you, what you're going through, you got to continue to push, man. That's what it's about. That's called what? Enduring as a, a the Lord said what? To endure hardest as a good soldier. Well, a, you got to think about a soldier, man. A soldier is in a battlefield. You bullets flying over your head, you, but you still got to endure them. You can't get weak and, you know, lay on the ground and cry to mama. Nah, man, you got to continue to push. Continue to push. And by doing that, if everybody had that spirit, we, hey, then, then the job can get done, man. You know, then, then this battle can be won. All right? Hey, the scripture says, gird up your loins like a man. You know, so the Lord is, is calling men in this thing, man. That's right, that's right. But it says, who shall separate us from the love of Hamash or distress or persecution? Persecution is coming too. Or famine. Famine is coming. They're talking about, you know, a, um, um, a lack of food. What about when you ain't eating in a couple of days? Are you still going to believe in the Lord? Are you, start, are you still going to pray the Lord? You hope I should not show you? Jake only praise the Lord and call upon the Lord whenever they're doing good. What about when you're doing bad? You know? It says, or nakedness, mm -hmm. or peril, mm -hmm. or sword. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this is a question you If you want to be numbered amongst the elect, you, got, you must ask yourself, what's going to separate you from this work? Right. You know, even if it come down to the, uh, the guillotine, right. you know, we coming into... You know the wire on this thing where this is the this is the end man mm -hmm. so you got to really uh examine yourself and ask yourself what is going to separate you from this truth and if if, right. if anything comes up in your head hey you better reevaluate yourself that's man because right, right. hey. nothing should be able to separate you from the love of hamashiach man that's right that's right and that's why you got you got to under and the lord said to what eat this whole role man you got to get a full understanding of what you're part of be in these scriptures man if you're in the scriptures you know what's coming you see what's coming you are you already you know what's coming you know so when it comes you're not gonna be surprised so that's why you got a hey, you got to be in the right spirit, man. You know, watching the, the, the right men. These other guys gonna lead to a good thing. They're gonna be peace and cream. You got this guy Bishop Nate coming out now talking about how, oh yeah, um, Jacob's trouble. How he, how, how, how he, he, at one point he said there was no Jacob's trouble. Now he's saying that we weren't in Jacob's trouble yet. Not so this man is flat out lying. But everybody is still following this man. He still got these mighty big old pass over there, right in the crowd screaming and crying and shit. What you crying for? This man just lies to your face. And, and then he has to come back and, and correct his lies with more lies. All right, so hey, you better be in the right spirit. You better be able to discern who got, who, who got it and who don't, man. Hey, the Lord is really dealing with you. Mm -hmm. Hey, the scriptures say what? A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways, and it's being made to find out that this guy is, is double-minded. Yep, yeah. You know, but it says, um, as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. Mm. So you know, brothers, we are being. We, we, we are catching hell. The Lord is constantly purging us of our sins, man. Yep, yep, yep. So it, it's not a, a joyful process. And we'll That's grab right. that as well. Hey, it's like, like you said, being killed all the day long. It's like you think about throughout your daily life, you're getting tried. You know, you, you, your boss, your, your woman, your damn, you know, whatever, man, from left and right. It's just constant hell, you know. And, and, and in that, you, we want to die. Like, man, what the hell is, what's going on, man? When, when the Lord come, I'm tired of this place, man. We all, we all feel that same passion. You know, that same passion before this shit come to an end. I mean, we are being killed all the day long, man. We, we, we ain't we ain't rejoicing and having a good time here and doing our lives. We want this place to be over so we can really start enjoying our lives in the kingdom. Man, if you're in the right spirit, you understand that we are in hell right now. That's right. This is this, this just just this life in, in itself is hell. You got to constantly work, just just just, just to, to, to make to make a decent living to, to be able to survive. That's right. That's hell, and that's part of chastening too. The Lord put us over here on this side of the earth in captivity. All right, to, 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 to make us men again, make us remember who he is and why he is important, why we need him. All right, that's our deliverance. That, that's our salvation, man. You know, and without that, you know, this, this place is not our rest. You're never going to find a rest here in America, man. When you understand that, you have that seal in your heart and your mind, 
you go, you, 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 you gonna be able to weather through the storm no matter how bad it gets. You gonna be, hey, you, you gonna endure. All right, and that's that's the chastening of the Lord. No matter how bad it gets, you endure through it, man. You know. That's right. It says, as it is written. Oh, by the way, Shalom, shalom uh, to shalom. the brother Malak. I'm a one. Baba Kusha, if you could uh, let us know how the sound is, Baba Kusha. But it says Romans 8 and verse um, 36, as it is written, for thy sake are we killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the sheep being accounted for the slaughter, that sheep really don't have no, no, no damn say, man. You know, the sheep don't really know what's going on. That's us in on this side, man. The Lord put us on, over here. God is catching hell, and as we figuring it out, the Lord is correcting us and chastening us and getting us right so that we don't have to go through this ever again. Ever again. We don't have to go through this ever again, man. Through the spirit of Yahweh Shema Shah, we're coming to the end of this thing, man. And that's why we got to continue to endure until the end. Hey, re hey, remember why you started, man. Remember why you started and endure until the end. All hey, right? that's why I be uh, telling brothers, man, remember where you came from, man. Even brothers, you know, we got to understand we're building testimonies here, man. That's right. That's you right. know, the, the, the brothers, the men, and, and the, the elect ladies, you know, well, and really the testimony goes back to the man, but we all are, are here in this captivity right now, catching the same afflictions, man. Right, and right. don't forget where you come from being what? Israel, man. That's right, that's Sons right. and daughters of the, of the Most High, man. All right? It says, um, killed all the day long for whose sake? The, the sake of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Because right, right. we're not doing the will, our own will. So when we suffer, we're suffering for the sake of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. We're, we're partaking in the Lord's suffering, man. That's right, that's right. That's hey, right. These, these people in the world today, they're not partaking in the Lord's suffering. Doing whatever they want. And ultimately, that's le leading them to death and destruction, man. That's right, that's right. Hey, and that's why we have, we have, we have a, a high holy day coming up. It's called the Day of Atonement. The Lord literally gave us a day to afflict your flesh, man. You got, you know, and then the Lord talks about that too, man. Afflicting your flesh, that's, that's chastening, man. That's you catch, catching some hell. That's you going through it when that's that's you suffering, man. You know, when everybody else is it's, it's easy for them to just go in and indulge in the flesh. We have to afflict our flesh and and, and 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 go through that suffering process to be made pure in our spirits, man. You know. Hey, as the scriptures say, the uh, the spirit is willing, the is but it's the flesh is weak, man. So in this walk, you know, before you came into the truth, we were easily indulged into the flesh, man. Now we gotta. Every time, you know, and we're going to be tempted, man. All right. And this brother just dropped a beautiful precept. Uh, James 1 and 12. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. You see that? So count yourself blessed if you endure temptation. Now, when we was in the world, certain temptations would, would come up. And you would just give in. Oh, fuck it. You know, you just give. Now you come into this truth. You have to have a strong spirit. To, you know, fight the temptation and really the Lord has to put that spirit on you, man. That's right, that's right. Hey, and whenever, whenever, whenever you, you know, you do a good job and you fight and, and, and you win that battle, you know, it's, it's, it's just a big war, but at least you won that battle. It's, it's a great feeling, man. You know, it's a great feeling to endure the temptation. Though, though, though you've been tempted, you endure through it, man. Like somebody constantly trying, like imagine your boss, you at your job and your boss trying you. I mean, for the shit, you know what I'm talking about? You, you, you want to quit, you know, you want to, but then you say, you know, you go back and you calm down. Usa, Usa, go Usa. back, and everything, you know, get figured out, and through the spirit, you endured it, man. You endured it. Hey, man, that's what Jake, that's, hey, I, hey man, I tell you this right now, man, through the spirit of the so-called black woman, all Jake knows how it, to, to do now is just give in. So as soon as, soon as, soon as, soon as they get, the, 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 the tough get going, or the going get tough, you know, everybody just started scattering, man. Hey, Jake started falling for, oh, man, it's getting tough. Nah, man, you got to endure, you know, have that warrior spirit about yourself. Cause it's not gonna be easy, but you gotta get stronger. You see, what I'm gonna tell you is gonna get easy to tell you that you have to get stronger in the spirit, man. You know, so when the Lord put us through certain things, it's to build us up to, 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 to get to get our spirits right. You know, because your flesh gonna always be a, a damn hinder, but in the spirit, you're gonna be you're gonna become stronger, man. You know. Yep. Let me finish this brother's precept. It says, "Blessed is the man that endureth temptation." And we're coming into the time of the hour of temptation, right, that's right. where the whole world is about to be tempted. Okay, the only difference is the elect are going to have Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai to keep them from the hour of temptation in the spirit. The Lord is going to keep us from it, speaking as the hopeful elect. Yep, yep. But it says, blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, mm. which Yahweh Shai hath promised to them that love him. 
right. And now ultimately, you know, you got brothers that are going to have to uh, reach that ultimate level of temptation, which is going to be the guillotine, man. That's right. You yeah. know, where, where they're going to say, okay, look, if you don't want to uh, bow down to the NWO, for you, man. But the scriptures say what? For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. Brothers that uh, um, endure that. Hey, you're going to be the first ones risen up to meet Yahweh in the clouds, man. That's right, that's right. I mean, even, even, even if you have to die for this truth, man. The truth says no greater love is it for a man to die for, to die for his friends. So, hey, man, you may come to a point where you might have to die for Yahweh Hey, and you know? Yahweh Shai said, uh, Salakia, Yahweh Shai said, um, I, I, I call you friends. That's right, that's right. The that's Lord right. called us friends, man. That's so, right. you know, hey, some of us might have to lay our life down. For the Lord, man. That's right. And, hey, and think about it too. The Lord laid his life down for us. Exactly. So it goes full circle, man. Even us right now. Even, even if you don't have to physically die on this side, we laid our lives down for you. How shot because we put everything that we was doing on the back in, in, in the past. And, you know, now the future is all the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And now we're suffering. Now we're suffering right. with the Lord. That's right. You that's know, right. and that's that's why, you know, that's why you got to, that's why uh, Sirach 2 says, Lord willing, we'll grab it. Mm -hmm. Whatever is brought upon thee, take it cheerfully, yes, man. You know, even to be brought into the sufferings of Yahawashai is a glory in itself, man, that's because right, these right. people haven't even gotten that opportunity yet. That's right. That's They're right. gonna have to get the suffering by uh, death by pain, man. Mm -hmm. Not, 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 not a fun way to go out. That's right. That's right. But this brother dropped one more precept, mm -hmm. Second Timothy two and twelve. Hey, who, who, who was the brother? Uh, the brother mm -hmm. Malak Amawan. Malak Amawan, Shalom, brother. Yahawashai. And he said crystal clear. The sound's crystal clear. All so praise, all praises. All praises. Uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 12 If we suffer, we shall also reign with him Ooh, if, if we deny him, he also will deny us That's right, that's right Hey, they, 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 be, be a precept, brother, that's the truth You know, the scripture says we suffer because of our sins So really, you know, you, you suffer, you catch your help because of your own sins But that's a part of us do, fulfilling our, our job And to getting back good with the Lord, man You know, so you gotta go through that punishment In order, in order to get, get back into and what no matter what we're gonna have to suffer that's right no matter what we, we are gonna have to suffer man and that's the thing we you would rather suffer right now doing the work of your help than to suffer during jacob's trouble right. uh famine distress you know anguish anguish hunger starvation you know Dang. all that's coming man and these people have to want to fill it for a puddle man hey and what did the, the lord said the servant is you know so you know what let me grab that real quick let me just grab that the book of what sir serves like great great greater great, 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 great than his master. Yeah, what is that? Hey, well, well, well hold that real quick. Let me, let me, let me grab this yep. real quick. First Peter chapter four, verse twelve. Beloved, think you not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you. Hey, so the scriptures say what? Don't think it's strange. You got Jake that'll catch a little hell and they Oh, why the fuck am I going through why this? Oh my god, what the no, man, it's scriptures, you gotta, and that's the thing, brothers, through experience, you gotta realize when you catch a hell, scriptures should pop to your mind. Right, and this right. one, this one right here should pop into your mind. Mm -hmm. Baba Kusha, read it again, Baba Kusha. First Peter chapter four, verse 12, beloved, thinking not strange concerning the fiery, the fiery trial, which is to try you. So you're not supposed to think it a strange thing. I Meaning it, it shouldn't be really strange. You should be able to take it cheerfully, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Don't be surprised, really. You know, when you catch in hell, don't be surprised, don't be in shock. Oh, oh why this happened? Oh my God. Start rubbing your head and shit to that. And when a man start doing that, you are giving in. Hey, 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 Satan got you, man. You know, eventually he gonna, he, gonna, he gonna choke you out, you know? It says, as though some strange thing happened unto you. As though some strange thing happened unto you, like you don't know. As a man of the Lord, you should know. That's right. Don't act like you don't know why you catch in hell. The scriptures talk about we have to suffer with our Lord, man. That's right. All right? As though some strange thing happened unto you, but rejoice. But do what? But rejoice. So, and that's why, you know, Elder Apostle Tahar has constantly been saying, learn to love to suffer, that's man. Right, that's right. That's that, right. It, it's scriptural. What, what the Elder Apostle said, that is straight out of the scriptures. We're reading it right here. You know, rather what? Rather rejoice. Rejoice, that's right. And as much as ye are part suffering. That when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. And that's what we want. You know, and that's that's for the elect. You know, as the elect are suffering with Yahweh Bashami Hawashai, and we hope to be numbered amongst them. You know, hey, we're we're definitely suffering. You know, but if we endure all the way to the end, 
Hey, the Lord is going to glorify us with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With his glorified body. This, hey, the Lord is coming back. He says, uh, I come not to meet thee as a man. That's right. That's you right. know, so in uh, John uh, 14, I go to prepare a place for you. Mm -hmm. So the Lord has not, he's not only preparing a place for us, he's coming to redeem us back unto that same place. That's right. That's right. Hey, and it says, uh, you, you you may be glad with, uh, also with exceeding joy, meaning when, it, when the Lord does come back, that's going to be a dreadful day, a day of, gl of gloominess and darkness. It's going to be missiles coming, you know, but how about you know, exceeding joy. We're going to be glad. Everybody else is not going to be happy. They're not going to be glad. They're not going to be excited. They're, they're going to be crying. They're going to be mourning. They're going to be afraid. We're gonna be, we, we, we know what's coming. We know the Lord. We know the Lord is real, man. So when you see him in his, in his great glory, in his great, as we've been prophesying all this time, starting with the head elders, elders and apostles on down, Hey man, it's gonna be a beautiful sight, man. You know, to finally see a, a America be destroyed, to finally see this place burn. All oh, the hell we caught here too on top of it. Damn. All the, I imagine all the hell you catching here, and you and you escape out of this place, and you see this place get get, get catching the hell now. Hey, and all your all your problems gonna go away in one hour. Yeah, exactly. Cause you know it's too crazy too, man. While you on this side, it seems like we the only ones catching the hell. Everybody else doing fine. They they, they, they living up. They, they they enjoying them, so they they riding back with exactly. the Cadillac. But us, we can want to catch a hell. So we back and ride back in the Cadillac with our Lord. Which is how, how we look, you know, the, the chariot, man. Lord, when we be those men, that's what we do this thing for, man. Not to fall out, not to bug out, not 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 to be, you know, men pleasers or or, or or get the worship of men. We do this thing. Be one and found blameless with Yah our Lord Yahweh Shai, man. That's it. That's the main goal. That, 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 that is the only destination. Mm -hmm. Anything else is going to lead you to the thermonuclear fire, man. Hey, I believe it was uh, Elder Apostle Gabar recently did a, a lesson, and in his lesson he was talking about if you haven't realized yet, you're in this thing to suffer. That's right. That's okay. Right, that's if you right, have, right. if you haven't realized yet, you're in this thing to suffer because you know Jake will be so um, overzealous about the kingdom, which there's not necessarily nothing wrong with that, but you get blinded, and then when the suffering happens, you're offended. We yep, we brought that yep, scripture yep, out because yep, yep. you you weren't grounded in the uh, in what this thing is all about. Okay, you you were too you you your your mind was too focused on the glam and the multiple wives and yeah, which yeah, hey that's yeah, good yeah. but you didn't have the balance of the Lord. The scriptures yeah. talk about the Lord being a balance, man. Hey, and that ain't nothing compared to the glory that we we about to inherit, man. Jake don't even understand the full the, the, the full throttle of that. Jake don't understand the full you know <laughs> the, the full spectrum of the glory we about to inherit. So when you really put that in the spectrum, hey, it's bigger things to, 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 to be boasting and be proud of, man. You know, just be glad that you're Israelite and the Lord is in the, and pray the Lord continue to deal with you, man. Pray the Lord to have, have mercy upon you and showing you, showing you this faith. And with that, hold on to it for dear life, man. You know, hold on to it. You know, like you, like you, like you can't let go. You know, because hey, that's all we got, man. Lord said, let uh, hold fast. Let no man take your crown. Oh, yeah. Okay. You got a lot of false prophets, a lot of demons out here, a, a, a lot of deceivers. And, and Satan's whole job is to cast you off, get you to bug out. That's why he's he going to put you in more hell. He's he going to put more, tr more, more damn trouble upon you, man. He's going to cause where your boss going to start trying you more at your job. Your woman may start giving you more of a headache. Your damn kids may start being more, 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 more some more little demons and shit, man. He gonna have this happen just so the literally he can see what you gonna do, man. You know, look at what happened to Job. Job, Job was a perfect man. He still had to catch hell, and the Lord uh, multiply him upon all his things after he when he went through it, man. And held fast his integrity. How much more us? All right, let me finish this up. Mm -hmm. It says, um, First Peter chapter four verse fourteen. If ye be reproached for the same for the name of Yahweh Shai. For the what? For the name, for the name of Yahweh Shai. Happy are ye for the spirit of glory and of Yahweh resteth upon you. For the spirit and glory mm -hmm. of Yahweh resteth upon you. Because you know the scriptures talk about a good sign to know a, a true prophet is he's not gonna be liked amongst his kinsmen. Mm -hmm. You know? So that's a sign. Certain certain things are signs, you know. And a major sign is, you know, a true man of the Lord is going to be um, abhorred. Yep, you know, yep, it's going to yep. be uh, uh, reproached. Mm -hmm. But can you read that last part again, Bible says, I'm going to bring it back. It says, if ye be reproached for the for the name of Yahweh Shai, happy are ye for the spirit of glory and of Yahweh resteth upon you. Sign of glory, you know, that shows, hey, that's a good sign, man. Okay. It says, on their part. He is evil spoken of, mm. but on your part, he is glorified. Right. So people speak evil, but at the at the end of the day, we're going to be glorified, man. That's right. That's right. You know, that's what we're looking for. We're looking forward to be glorified. And that's people right. are always going to speak evil of what they don't understand. And really, the the, uh, the only ones that are going to get the understanding pursuing to Revelation 14 
is the uh, elect. Revelation 14 and 2 says no that were redeemed for the earth. We're singing that song right now, man. You know? But the, the chastening of the Lord is is part of this thing, man. Uh, I got a little more on this. Uh -huh. It says verse 15, but let none of you suffer as a murderer or as a thief mm. or as an evildoer or as a busybody in other men's matters. You see, so when you suffer, you're not supposed to suffer because you're a murderer. Or suffering wickedness. Suffer, suffering wickedness. You know, because you've been a damn demon. And we know, we know we suffer unrighteousness, man. We said, we, we, we catch a help because we're serving the Lord. Not because not you're a murderer. Jake, Jake say, oh, I had a Jake tell me one. You know, in prison, so Apostle Paul was in prison. What, what, what nigga not for doing what you was doing? Okay, for, for, they was in prison for serving the Lord. For serving, for, it, was, it was persecuted for righteousness, snake man. But Jake the wickedness and, and try to justify with you know more wickedness, nah, man. So that's what it's talking about, you know. Uh, it says, um, yet if any man suffer as a Christian, a follower of Hamashiach, a follower of our Lord Yahweh Shai, okay, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify. The Most High on His behalf, mm. meaning the Lord says that um that how they shall persecute those that fear the Lord. So meaning that those that fear the Lord, those that that's going to be suffering a, 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 as a follower of, of Yahweh Shai, that's coming, man. They're going to be persecuting the, the, the believers, man. They, it's, who they coming for, man? They coming for Israelites. Whether you know you Israelite or not, they coming for your ass, man. <laughs> but how much more those of us that do know we Israelites? Okay, those of us that that is actually you know on these videos, man. Prophesying. If you see us, they see us. Okay. <laughs> If you see us, they see us, man. They got our face in their room with dark, throwing darts at our faces and stuff, man. So what comes with that? Persecution, hell, more tribulation. You know, they 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 they, they find a way to, 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 you know, you trying to do something, they trying to stop it. You know, you go to the bank, the bank arrest you and shit. Whatever they can do to start to, you know, give you more hell on the side, man. You know, all that's been orchestrated by the devil. You know, and the Lord is allowing it to make us purify us and make us better. You know, it says, for this time, for the time has come. That judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Damn. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? So, hey, judgment is going to start at the Israelites that know that they Israel, man. Mm -hmm. The scriptures talk about there's many vain talkers and deceivers, especially of day of the circumcision, you know, that know that they Israelites, man. So judgment is going to start at the ones that know who they are, man, that ain't doing that just, you know, they and how much more if it's going to start with us it's going to end with these niggas that don't that don't obey the gospel where if, hey, listen where are you going to be at man after you know because we're going to have no we catching hell the lord's going to be on our side but when you catching hell and when it's your turn because your turn is coming all, all of us got our turn man your turn is coming where are you going to be at are you going to are you going to be able to strive and fight are, you, are the lord's lord going to be dealing with you is the lord going to defend you you know hey the scripture say i might it might be that scripture um just yes. go ahead, go ahead, yep. It says, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, where here? Go ahead, you go hey, ahead. So if, 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 if the righteous, the, the, the man that's actually striving to seek, please the Lord and, and serve the Lord right, keep his commandments and, and to the best of their ability, and they're going to they gonna scarcely be saved, meaning you're going you, to you, make it by the grit of our teeth. Get about teeth, man. I'll grab that, We're going to literally see destruction on our hills. It's going to be in front of us, on our hills, on the side, on, on every side, and the Lord's going to deliver us, man. You know, you're going to have plagues and tribulation on every single side, and it shall not come night. We're going to see death and destruction on a mass level, man. Men dying, women dying, and children dying, man. Animals dying, everything. You're going to see death on just on another level. You see? So if we go, if, if the righteous are going to have to see all this and scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Where y'all going to appear at, man? That, that have, have, have forsaken the Lord. That forsaken this truth. That they want to keep the commandments of the special ability. That completely cast the Lord off. Where, where are you going to be at when all hell breaks? says the same must know it after death yeah, by pain. pain you know so you know there's two ways to know the truth man and, and to know the lord to know the lord so he is known in his judgments he's known man. in his judgments hey and hey, faith cometh by hearing mm -hmm. so you know you're either going to hear this word and it's going to uh, resignate you're going to repent yeah, and get yeah, salvation yeah. or you're going to reject it and hey figure it out by death by pain exactly. man says verse 19 wherefore let them suffer according to the will of yahweh commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as unto a faithful creator yep so, so endurance ahead, and endurance you know so you gotta you gotta endure in this thing man if you read it again Baba Krishna. wherefore let them suffer 
let them that suffer according to the will according to the will so we're, we're suffering according to the will of the most high not because of you know you want to be a rapper or some shit you, you yeah, can't get yeah, a record yeah, label yeah, y'all yeah. i'm suffering no yeah. no you suffering because of the